If you don't know what Starlink is, I have no idea who you are, because at this point, the company is so successful that you probably heard about it a dozen of times. Whether it's on TV or social media, I'll give you an insight as to what is going on with Starlink right now. SpaceX is a company founded by Elon Musk, an American aerospace manufacturer and space transportation service provider. Among their many goals, like taking humans to Mars, finally, they want to make the internet accessible to everyone in the world. To make it possible, the company is building a satellite constellation called Starlink to provide satellite internet access to everyone by 2021. Each satellite weighs approximately 260 kilograms and is equipped with antennas and solar arrays and the usage of iron thrusters powered with the aid of using Krypton. So, Starlink is the company's bold plan to construct an interconnected community of approximately 12,000 small satellites to beam high velocity internet everywhere with inside the world. In addition to getting the satellites in orbit, SpaceX, if it is going to connect consumers directly to its network, it needs to build a system of ground stations and affordable terminals. The global satellite internet model has already been proposed by several companies, including the tech giants Google and Samsung. However, the fact that the company already has the hardware to carry out the project is what makes Musk Project a formidable contender. In detail, the organization is promising 1 gigabit in step with a second at a latency of around 30 milliseconds. Comparatively, the common broadband pace within inside the UK is 64 megabits within a second. But what's actually happening within the company right now? In this video, that's what it's all about. We're going to give you four key things you need to know about Starlink and the updates as they come through. Number one, the Starlink updates, the beta tests. It's been a while, but finally, the public tests of the service offered by Starlink begin. In fact, Elon Musk's company will soon allow a limited and select number of people to access the internet through its platform through a beta testing program. Actually, it's actually possible to register from the Starlink site, indicating your email address and so to be updated when the service will be in available in your area. The lucky beta testers selected by Starlink are precisely those who have already registered on the site and who have indicated the northern United States and southern Canada as their area of origin but will also affect some rural communities in the state of Washington. The chosen participants are required to have a clear view of the northern sky since the 600 satellites launched so far can cover and therefore offer. The chosen participants are required to have a clear view sky of the northern sky since the 600 satellites launched so far can cover only latitudes between 44 and 52 degrees north. The hardware needed to use Starlink. The lucky chosen ones who therefore meet the visibility requirements will be sent a plug and play satellite dish to communicate with the Starlink satellites, together with a kit that will serve as the equipment to be able to communicate correctly. According to a tweet by Elon Musk, the parables have motors that allow them to orient themselves independently to have an excellent view of the satellites. The package will also include a router already approved by the Federal Communications Commission with support for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz dual band Wi-Fi. Obviously, in the early stages, the communication will not be continuous and may present moments of darkness, warned SpaceX, as the system is still being optimized by the team. This test is also going to be completely free, and participants will only be asked to charge $1 to test the billing system for the service. Starlink versus Cooper. The Starlink project actually has a bit of competition. Amazon's Cooper project has gained support from the president of the US Federal Communications Commission. Jeff Bezos, the company's CEO, wants to launch small satellites in low orbits to provide internet coverage, just like SpaceX Starlink. Last year, Amazon called Cooper a long-term project that plans to serve tens of million people who lacked basic internet and broadband access. A good step forward for Jeff Bezos, but it's definitely going to be hard to reach Elon Musk. The founder of SpaceX has already launched over 480 of the 12,000 satellites planned for his Starlink constellation. Starlink is actually objectively faster, more efficient, and much more dedicated than Cooper. In October 2019, SpaceX asked the International Telecommunication Union for authorization to access the spectrum for another 30,000 Starlink satellites, for a maximum of 42,000. The constellation of the aerospace company founded by billionaire Musk become almost four times larger than expected. Starlink's cancelled mission. Cooper's progress with the FCC has not benefited SpaceX. 
On July 11th, SpaceX was forced to cancel the last Starlink mission, which included 57 satellites. The company mentioned on Twitter that the venture needed the extra checkout time and that the crew was running to pick up the following release opportunity. The launch would have been the 10th of Starlink's missions and the third in less than two months. Previously, Starlink satellites sparked controversy within the astronomical community, when many expressed their fear that their brightness would prevent visibility of the night sky. In April, SpaceX announced a series of updates, pledging to make the new group of satellites invisible to the naked eye within a week of the launch, and obscuring the satellites, so as to not to saturate the observatory's detectors. The company added that by June, all future Starlink satellites will have sun visors that will prevent sunlight from hitting the brightest parts of the spacecraft. How much will Starlink cost? Analysis from High Speed Internet observed that the average advertised internet package within the United States costs around $50 in line with a month for the duration of the promotional period and $60 thereafter. But that's if you're lucky enough to live near a stable, well-connected infrastructure. Rural and less linked regions may have to skip the wired approach of the infrastructure if it's actually lacking. Turning to the skies wherein satellites don't care approximately to your neighborhood area. That's where it starts to get expensive. Analysis from Satellite Internet located that the common rate of satellite broadband actually costs around $100 per month. They located their primary provider. Viasat charges around $102 on average, while HughesNet charges around $94.99 on average. So where does SpaceX actually fit into all of this? The SpaceX president, Gwen Shotwell, gave a clue when she spoke to CNN in October 2019. How will SpaceX compete with the existing internet providers in the US? This was Musk's answer. Is anybody paying less than 80 bucks a month for crappy service? No, that's why we're going to be successful. However, Shotwell didn't make any firm announcements on pricing. Installation price. The gadget is predicted to apply a dish to connect. Musk defined in January that this might use an item that looks like a thin, flat, round UFO on a stick. This stick is likewise geared up with motors to self-alter the most appropriate attitude to view the sky. Jotwell defined it similarly in October 2019. Consumers, hopefully, are going to receive a box with a user terminal and a cord. It will sit either outside of a window on a roof or out on sort of like a pole in your yard. During a 2015 speech, Musk counseled it may come at a steep price. The CEO floated the idea of a figure somewhere around $100 to $300. That means, all in all, Starlink may want to release for some place across the $80 per month mark, plus an additional $100 to $300 for setup cost. So, what do you think of Starlink? Will the project be completed by the end of 2021, or will it need more time to be realized? Answer these questions by leaving us a comment down below. We definitely are hopeful for Starlink, and we're very excited to see what Elon Musk does.